Hello, my friends! Welcome back to the adventures of Arendil, the level 16 mage, currently in front of the Mages Guild of the Landril, here in his home province of Somerset Isle. Today, we will be venturing forth to the Crystal Tower. Here, on the far north of this, the main island. Six days travel. The crystal tower dominates the area, rising like an accusatory finger pointing at the sky above. This bastion of sorcery seemingly transcends normal human conceptions, existing in many planes other than this. You can sense the fifth piece of the Staff of Chaos somewhere above. You entered the halls of the Crystal Tower, greeted by strange sounds and sights. I wonder what it means by that. My footsteps sound different. Troll regenerating. Perhaps all of this floor is made of crystal. I wonder how much of the structure is carved out of crystal or magically formed from crystal. This is a place of great arcane power and knowledge. Erendil has had all of his major items repaired, and he has also sold off all of his magical items. Well, not all of his magical items, but the ones like the Ring of Healing, Bracers of Force Bolt, Crystal of Opening, those types of usable magical items. Hopefully he will not regret that, but he feels that he has never really needed them, rarely used them at all. He's able to more confidently rely on simply casting spells when he needs to. Speaking of which, we have many skeletons here. Let's go ahead and blast them all. I'll get it to care of most of them. Hey, Randall is so confident, in fact, that he is now very impatient to simply rely on hand-to-hand -hand combat with his dagger and so forth. Magic is generally far more efficient. And he has quite an abundance of spell points at this point. Oh, there's some funny effects there. There was a moment ago. <laughs> oh boy. Some funny things going on with the graphics there. Not diagonal sidewall. Let's keep an eye on our map. Hello, skeleton. Cracked crystal. 
to have even doors made of some kind of special crystal. That is, uh, rare indeed. But yes, I do wonder if all these walls are crystal. They may very well be. Um, so we're back near the beginning. <laughs> we'll start exploring more of these side rooms. I guess we'll go ahead and uh, take this area first. Hellhounds are not much of a threat to Eorendil now. <laughs> he found it kind of fun to simply defeat them with hand to hand combat. Eorendil's gotten quite adept at using his daggers. Opening locked doors is generally no trouble. Even without spells much of the time. Hmm. Finding this next piece of the Staff of Chaos might take quite a while. Erendil has a feeling that this tower, extremely tall as it is, and filled with innumerable secrets and traps and who, you know, who knows what kind of dangers, uh, this could take quite a while to reach our goal, to find what we see. Oh, there was a door up here, hmm? Nice. Drums in the deep. Or perhaps drums high above in this case. area a bit more first. Oh my, a ghost. Mithril can harm them. the source of all these strange noises. Hello.
Okay, so you see most of this easternmost side of the first level. Might be good for us to rest soon. For indeed, Arendil might he may have become a bit overconfident. He's using a lot of spell points real fast. Control regenerating. Diseased, that's not good. Cure disease. Excellent. Though I wish I would have checked to see what disease I caught. I was curious to see what sort of description it might have. I think I may have heard a spider. There we go. A difficult block, but not impossible. Especially not for one such as Avon Deal. Extremely high intelligence at this point. Oh, we'll stick with the fire spell for now. Not enough spell points to cast another fire spell, that's not good. Who's casting spells at me? Ah, uh, a wraith. You, my friend, are going to feel the cold of a frost spell from your end deal. Who else is near at hand? Okay, we can rest again. 
facing or Blast should take care of you. Indeed. Now we rest again. Or not. Nightblade. Typical. More orcs. I love those ambient noises. Enter this place, abandon hope. More than a little foreboding. Vampire regenerating, oh, that's not good. Arendelle has never faced a vampire before, as far as I recall. Oof. Very creepy looking dude. Bit of fire. Vampire seems to have a lot of hit points. This creepy vampire noise is reused in Daggerfall. I remember it well. Oh boy, we're getting. Ah, I should have been uh, reshielding some time ago, I suppose. Not enough spell points for that. Shield 2. Can we finish this in physical combat? It's a bit risky. Disease now. That's not good. Let's go ahead and use some potions of restore power and healing. In fact, I'll use a potion of heal true. My only one. Hold on a second. So we have blood rot. I don't remember if Heal True also cures disease. Nope. Finally got you. Wow. So there. Whoa. The corpse of the vampire seems a little bit. That's not good at all. We cast fire on it again. That may have stopped whatever it was doing. I fear it may have been attempting to regenerate.
Rudy de Rendil is not feeling quite so confident now. He's been a bit humbled by that combat with the vampire. shielding going. I suppose we'll go around. cure this disease, which may be affecting some of my attributes, possibly. Yeah, I think so. Agility should be higher than that, for example. Catching a disease from a vampire. Not a pleasant thought. Ha! Well, it killed itself. hard to get at this pile of treasure. So yeah, that wraith was the thing that was blocking us. Or possibly the ghost. this place. Abandon hope. I love that flavor text. There will likely be a lot of that in this place.
the more difficult walk. Interesting. Finally, a spider. We'll go north for a bit. Hello, homunculus. Take you down with a shock spell. How about that? It's over there. Ah. Oh my. Yeah, we're just gonna let you stay stuck right there. How about that? I believe that was an iron golem. Staircase. Easy to handle at this point. Might as well explore this uh, this area for a bit.
have an enchanted staff. Some special long swords. Bracelet of Luck. And some mysterious marks. Enemies in this game really can't get around corners very well, can they? Oh, come on, let me jump over here. I don't want two corpses on top of each other. There we go. No regenerating for you, please. There we go. That should take care of him. Or her. Not sure that I'm particularly good at seeing any differences in gender among the trolls. Okay, there might be a little nook right there that I haven't explored yet. Let's check that out. Nothing special. <laughs> well, hello there. Our shielding seems to have worn off. It's a bit dangerous. Yep. You were a fool to confront me, and now have paid the ultimate price. Sure enough. We were at risk. We may have gotten different loot there after reloading. Got it. 
So here indeed we have stairs going up higher into the crystal tower. It's a place of danger and mystery. We'll rest for a bit. Oh, the stairs. Oh my, things are looking different here. This is not good. <laughs> and shield two. Now, well, I was kind of hoping these guys might kill themselves with their spells, but I may not be so lucky. I suppose I should go ahead and use some more restore power potions. And just get rid of these guys. Goodbye, homunculi. What is it with these strange shifting textures in some of these diagonal walls? Also, what is it with these strange statues formed of many skulls, it seems? Maybe. Very odd. I like these lanterns on the walls. Hmm. Wish we had a better place to rest. be a strange plant of some kind. Perhaps I was seeing skulls where they don't exist. <laughs> Not sure what this is. I mean, if there really is a snow-covered tree, it would seem that could only exist here through some kind of magic. I suppose it could also be some strange fungus or other strange growth that uh, was created by mystical powers here. I believe I hear the thudding of large feet. It's not very comforting. Oh, homunculi! Fire blast. Come on. Let's have one more. Gained a level of experience. I guess that happened right after saving, I hope. Maybe not. Bonus points four. Yeah, I'm not super happy with that. Hmm. I'm almost a bit scared to see what will happen if I try to load that save. It would not surprise me at all to find it to be buggy in some way. Let's experiment. First we'll save here. Ah. Very nice. Three. Well, there's no way we're keeping that. Five. 
if that's more like it. We'll accept that. Hmm. Oh, perhaps one more in luck? Sure. Yes, I can. Ah. Oh. Okay, I don't like that. I forgot it might replenish all the enemies. Let's go ahead and uh, go back here. Take to the water. Oh, hello. An ice golem, I believe. Now, just a puddle of water. Frost. Not much. Nor do you. <laughs> My 
into your warrior. Now these are strange and foreboding statues. Strange obelisk, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Or what kinds of people may have made it. But it seems a bit evil. Suppose we might as well explore this way a little bit more. Hello, wolf. Been a while since I've seen the snow wolf. fresh arcane shield spell. Heal up again. Very nice. sense away further up. Tempting to blast through that wall right here, but uh, that noise inspired me to explore a bit further in this southerly direction. What do we have down here? Suspicious. Just a bit of gold, hmm? Spell should get me through. Sure enough. It might be the sound of another ice golem. Yep. That is not what I meant to do. You are able to reflect spells. Well, I hope that lasts quite a while. Did I cast that by accident? It didn't seem to cast, uh, it didn't seem to cost too much in terms of spell points, thankfully. But still. be wasting spell points too much. Can I reflect a spell, please? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> that worked well. Very nice. I should perhaps start using that more. Let's shed some more light on this situation. Hello. 
I'm still reflecting spells. Yeah. Good. Go ahead, cast some spells. Please. <laughs> oh, that's nice. So I'll cancel my fire spell. I should have a spell absorption spell as well. I might have to try that sometime. Shielded and healthy, no longer reflecting spells. Well, I think we're ready to ascend even higher. I don't really feel a need to take the time it would take to uh, explore every inch of each of these levels. So on we go. A heavy, musky scent wafts through the rough-hewn corridors. In the distance, you can hear what sounds to be low growls. few useless items and then save again. Suppose I don't need to carry these silver long swords. Just hold on to that ebony longsword for a while, but we'll see. A torque of strength. Hmm? The torque of strength is a bit tempting. I mean, the agility is probably worth more to me still for now, but uh, gosh, that is tempting. If I end up doing more hand to hand combat, the extra damage for more strength might be nice, as well as if I end up uh, carrying a lot of stuff. The stench of offal and excrement is almost unbearable. Nearby, you can hear strange sounds issuing from what looks like cell doors. Does not sound pleasant. Huh. The sign reads, The Bestiary, Section 1. Rats. 
skeleton, goblins, <laughs> very interesting. Snow wolf, warning, specimen has ice breath attack, indeed. This is fun. Oh my. Diamond key. Do a bit of safe scumming here, I suppose. Feeding to two. Caution. Specimens may inhabit these tunnels. That, ooh, once again, a stench of awful excrement. I don't think there actually will be any enemies in these tunnels, but that is a nice bit of foreboding flavor text. Oh boy. We have entered the pens. Now what is this door labeled with? This cell is empty. On the plaque to one side has been hastily etched your name, Aelindio. It seems someone has been expecting you. Now that is creepy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I was wondering why that cell was empty. But now Arendil has an even more deeply unsettling feeling about this entire crystal tower. Here we have Stone Golem warning this specimen throws rocks. Ice Golem. Warning, this specimen has a damage aura. Ah, I never realized that. The sign reads the bestiary section 3. I'll just label it bestiary 3. I believe here was the entrance to bestiary 1. So, we apparently have some very strange, interesting, perhaps unsettling, but also undeniably impressive research that takes place in this tower.
So this again is, well, let's see, hold on, hold on. Okay, so this is section two, right over here with section three, right? Yes, that's right. So I'll just mark this here. Bestiary two, I believe is referring to, well, maybe just, uh, maybe this area down here. Let's check it out. Spider, warning this specimen is highly poisonous. Although the effect of their poison is uh, paralysis rather than damage over time. Hellhound, warning this specimen is highly aggressive. That's an understatement. Zombie, warning this specimen causes disease. Indeed, we'll keep our distance. Wraith, warning, specimen has spell casting abilities. Very strange. By what means do they keep all of these strange and powerful creatures and conjurations and uh, perhaps uh, mechanistic creatures in the case of some of the golems, how do they keep them all so well contained? And why so many trolls? Are they simply the guards of this place, or are they also part of the staff, so to speak? <laughs> helping tend to this place and its occupants. I don't think we've seen a cell for the trolls yet. If there is one. A steel key. Okay. These walls are very interesting. Strange sort of bumpy stone. It looks almost rusty or muddy or something. Hopefully not bloody, let's just put it that way. Hmm. Not sure I relish the idea of going down any more tunnels. Those tunnels are surely quite disgusting as are most of these cells. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, just for fun, um, let's see this. Feeding tube three, specimens may inhabit these tunnels. of several of these, I suppose. Hmm. Stench of awful and excrement once again. Stone golems? I'm not sure. Pro 
probably singular stone golem, I should say. More trolls. On this troll's body, you find a crudely drawn map, obviously of this level. In the southeast corner is a large red X. The map also shows an illegible scrawl just northwest of this room, marking a location just beyond the cell door. Hmm. So southeast, we have an X. Northwest, we have some illegible scrawl, huh? Just beyond the cell door. The troll carrying a map. Perhaps these trolls are more intelligent than Arendelle thought. Possibly. Or perhaps they're just good, useful servants of some powerful magical beings that control this place. So it may have meant just beyond this door. You suddenly realize that the illegible scrawl may have been a warning and trollish. <laughs> ah, so they do have their own language, huh? They are indeed more intelligent than Arendil ever gave them credit for in the past. Warning about a iron golem. Would invisibility help? Yes. That's good. Let's take some treasure and be gone. No need to bother destroying this thing. on our own map. Iron Golem. Still invisible, we can take advantage of that for a while, I suppose. This homunculus sees us not. Very interesting to see them from behind. Open door with steel key, that's good. Homunculus, warning, specimen has spell casting abilities. And again, I believe this is an unintentional misspelling, homunculus. I think they're supposed to be homunculi, although they don't look like how I would normally conceive of homunculi, to be honest. But all that's really necessary is that they be somewhat humanoid, I suppose. And they are, roughly. 
Medusa warning, gaze attack, do not stare. Indeed, we shall move on. Oh boy, no thank you. I mean, high elves might be immune to that form of paralysis, but I'm not 100% sure, and uh, we're not going to wait around to find out. So this... Ooh, Fire Demon. Warning, this Guardian is extremely dangerous. But we must get through here, he thinks. No longer invisible. Let's take care of this guy. Open the diamond key. Well, now I'll get through with a little help from Frost Magic. Dark Flame shall not avail you. Flame of a dune. I am the wielder of the secret fire. Okay, can I cast it again? There we go. Got him. I suppose in this case I should have said I am the wielder of the secret frost. Would have been a bit more appropriate. Save. Oh, I suppose all this going all the way back here. And we have a stone golem. Let's go invisible. And just avoid this guy. <laughs> Who thankfully does not hear our footsteps. Perhaps the invisibility spell does help mask sounds to some extent as well. Or a failed acolyte. Who knows? Snow wolves. Goodbye. Oh, if I can get around here. Oh no. Well, fire blast it is. Sorry, wolves. Oh, we had a normal wolf here too. Interesting. Or... Maybe not. Perhaps I'm misinterpreting the, uh, the graphics there. Anyway. Still invisible. This game is very generous with the invisibility uh, status. Still have 
An extra time key icon. Wonder if that will still get used or if that's just superfluous. So we could find two diamond keys, of course. glowing <laughs> in the dark. last couple of floors, it seems that our feet might be crunching in snow, but I don't think it seemed that way on the first level. Anyway, <laughs> this tower is full of strange mysteries. Shielding used up. Here's hoping we can rest here for a good long while. Hi there. Oh, let's use shock. Interesting and ornate symbols in the walls, inlaid with precious gems and metals. Who brings these wolves to me? What are these strange floating red dots? Hmm? I almost wish some of these could be switches 
for secret doors and such. And yet, at the same time, sometimes it's nice to uh, have things be a bit simpler, not have to worry about such things. Similarly with the barrels and so forth, uh, I'm pretty sure none of them do anything, and in a way that's nice to not fear missing out on any special items when skipping past a barrel. <laughs> they really do seem like like somewhat oddly shaped trees. Again, perhaps sustained here through some form of obscure magic of which Arendil is not familiar. Interesting uh, hallways here. I think that might be a corpse over there. Someone fed to the wolves, perhaps. A secret door. see we found another enchanted staff that's kind of fun an enchanted longsword perhaps now well at some point we might drop the ebony longsword Belt of Agility might be interesting, especially if we drop the Torque of Agility in favor of a Torque of Strength. But for now, I will keep my items as they are. Now, 
what of this corpse? Plate helm. This must have been some kind of warrior. To enter within, thou must find the meaning of this passage. In a marble hall as white as milk, lined with skin as soft as silk, within a fountain crystal clear, a golden apple doth appear. No doors there are to this stronghold, yet thieves break in to steal the gold. What is thy answer? Okay. Feel free to pause or skip ahead if you don't want the answer spoiled. It took me a moment, but I'm pretty sure the answer might be egg. Thou may proceed, mortal, to thy peril. That was a satisfying one. Because once again, it is very reminiscent of Riddles in the Dark in The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. There was a riddle with the answer, eggs. We'll say more about that in a moment. But first things first. You attach the fifth piece of the staff and for a moment feel a surge of energy pass into your body, almost as if the incomplete staff were a live thing. Very interesting. Arendil finds this, uh, this arrangement of candles a bit unsettling. He wishes to step forth from it immediately. <laughs> so, let's gather some more treasure here. But yes, as I was saying, um, there was that classic riddle in The Hobbit. I believe it was box without hinges, key or lid, yet golden treasure inside is hid. And it stumped Golem for quite a while, or Gollum, I should say. In any case, we found it. The staff piece was right there. And this went a little bit faster than I expected. Perhaps through a bit of good luck. And now, we'll probably head more or less directly back. I might do a tiny bit more exploring here on this level. Because Arendel does find its design a bit fascinating, and uh, he's very curious about whether he can find a few more clues as to who some of the powerful beings are who helped create this place in the first place. Uh, assuming it was ever created, it may have had a partly sort of mythical origin, so to speak. By which I simply mean an origin that we would consider very mysterious. You know, it may have been something that pretty much originated with the origin of everything in this world. It might sound strange, but I think that is true of some things in the lore of this game, or, or the Elder Scrolls series in general. And I think that might be true of this tower though much of that lore may not have been developed yet when this game was released. Oops. Well, that's not what I meant to cast either. But also, we have not saved since getting that item. Let's save it there.
Underestimated you, that is clear. You not only have defeated the useless creatures I have sent against you, but managed to survive encounters that in and of itself could be the stuff of legends. It is sad that I am forced to destroy you. Prepare for my minions arrive. Really? Well, I'm shaking in my boots. I tell you. Who are these knights? They better be, you know, battle mages or something like that, or else I'm not impressed. They're probably just normal knights. Let's do a shock blast. Take care of these guys. Finish this guy off with fire. Cook him in his armor. Sorry, I know it's a bit brutal. But, uh... Sometimes, for his self-preservation, Arendil must indulge in a bit of that sort of thinking. Inventory's full. So we'll drop a few things here. Sabers or Warhammers. Some of the plate armor could be enchanted as well, I suppose, but we don't need to be too thorough in gathering loot here. Arendil has plenty of gold, so we can see here over 200,000 gold pieces, <laughs> which he can carry around, perhaps through the aid of magic of some kind. So we shall say, anyway. Okay. Try to rest again, and I bet this time we'll get a vision of a more friendly nature. Oh, not for now. Not until we can get a full rest. Get deep into a dream state where Rhea Silmain can reach us. It has become a habit, congratulating you on your success. Still, there are three pieces left, and what guards them only the Divine Lady may know. I have spent many a day searching the ethereal plane for some clue at the location of the sixth piece of the staff. This is what I have found. The piece was sent to a place called the Crypt of Hearts. I have no clue as to the location of such a place. The price for the little knowledge I have was exacting. Still, only three provinces remain that can hold these last pieces. It can only lie in one of these. Good luck. Thank you, Ria Selmain. One 
so on we go. And I really don't know in which province the next piece will be located. Let's check our logbook here. See how this was described. Ah. Well, I guess there is no journal entry for that vision we just got. Oh well. simpler as we do a small amount of exploration before moving on out to whatever province we choose to explore first. Thing. An ice golem. How you doing, buddy? All right, you just stay there. You too. Stay put, please. in the dark. these connected like that. That's cool. And of course this area was protected with uh, indestructible walls. So we couldn't have used this as a shortcut past the uh, riddle door. At least, probably not. Yeah, I don't think it I don't think they left any uh, vulnerable paths through there on any side. Uh, let's go ahead and move on. visible again. Hmm. 
Okay then, farewell to you both. It was nice knowing you little snow pups for as long as I did. Now, go to doggy heaven, or wherever it is you may go when your souls depart this realm. I'm assuming quite a lot there, of course. I can quickly check this area. Just a little bit. tiny bit of unexplored areas, but, uh, you know, like here, for example, uh, that's okay. <laughs> we don't need to don't need to turn every stone. Uh, fresh shielding there now, and we can't camp right there, nor can we here, it seems. Are we not invisible? No. Let's go invisible again. Ooh, the fire demon. Can you see me? I don't think he can. Let's just move on. And hope you're not followed. Here, the empty cell, with the name Eärendil hastily etched next to it. Deeply creepy. Presumably that was done by Jagarthan or one of his servants. Although, who knows, there could be other strange, powerful mages and so forth who would take an interest in Eärendil, who himself has become quite a powerful mage and quite important in the unfolding of events here in this world. Let's take a shortcut. And we will head this way, away from the heavy, musky scent wafting through these rough hewn corridors. away from the low growls. Going invisible once again, Erendil continues his escape from this strange, mysterious, and unsettlingly powerful tower.
Come on, let's get out of here. Come on. Is this not the spot to climb up? Oh my. Please tell me I don't have to destroy the homunculus. Come on. Okay, I'll briefly explore this area where I've not yet been. And we have an ice going. Treasure. Not good. But we have once again disappeared. snow wolves here. Okay. Moving hastily onward. Back to these strange, unsettling carvings. More blue eyes in the dark. Cast the spell or not? I'm not sure I did. No, I did. Okay. Good. Let's go back here and just break through some walls. Because why not? Oh, what are you guarding? is getting more and more full. So I suppose we'll drop the ebony longsword. Leave that for some other adventurer. If any are so foolish. 
Let's do one right here. Starting to feel just about ready to simply move on. I suppose we can just go a little bit farther over here and then head on up north. Oh, well, let's simply get around this. But first, a little more exploration here. Oh, we'll go ahead and get rid of all of you. Nice fire blast. Interesting sound. And yet, the treasure might still be rather mundane. Well, I guess not entirely. You know, I think one of these was a. Did I get. One of those enchanted longswords from that pile. Well, I don't quite recall exactly what I picked up, but oh well, that's fine. Moving on. <laughs> kind of nice to be able to bypass a locked door or gate entirely. By simply passing through walls or destroying them, however one wishes to interpret the use of that spell. And I say that simply because the uh, so-called destroyed walls do come back. Now let's go ahead and uh, check this out. Okay. Don't need any more swimming either. Let's go ahead and uh, just pass through here. And down we go. Really, troll? Really? Are you trolling me? Let's 
so nice of them to fill this treasure chest back up again. And let's... Oh, fine. I'm such a completion as well. I don't have room for it. Yeah, let's just leave it alone. We don't need more treasure. Is there anything we're willing to drop at this point? Oh, I guess the staff. So we can grab one thing from this pile. And that will be the mark. Straight down. Use some passfall to just get out of here quickly. That sounds good to me. I wonder if this raised platform might provide a safe haven for resting. A bit doubtful, but we'll try it. Not bad. Beautiful. So, out we go, leaving this strange crystal tower behind. But where shall we go to? I've kind of got a good feeling about High Rock, and the vision was about a place called the Crypt of Hearts. I think that, I know it could be in Black Marsh, but I'm kind of leaning toward High Rock. Got Daggerfall over there, that's very cool. Shornhelm. Wayrest, very nice. Camlorn. Evermore, I like that. North Point. Far Run. <laughs> and Jehana. Or Yehana, depending on how that's pronounced. In any case, uh. It's tempting to go straight to Daggerfall, both because it was a name of great import, especially in the next Elder Scrolls game, obviously, uh, but also because it's just a natural choice. It's uh, It would seem to be the first major port in High Rock that we would reach, going here by ship. So let's go ahead and proceed to Daggerfall. Rest well this night, Eyrendil, for tomorrow you sail for the city-state of Daggerfall. Daggerfall greets those in search for rest, and hope to challenge those who search for glory. Interesting words. And we have arrived at night. Soon we shall save and be done with our adventures for this day. 9.21 at night and we are still Quite shielded, thankfully. Someone seems to be. Oh, hello, mage. You have chosen the right. Uh, the wrong person. Both of you 
I've chosen the wrong person to pick a fight with. Ah, the inventory's full. New weaponry store. Okay, so here it is. The city of Daggerfall. In its arena form. Quite a large city, of course, just like all the city-states in this game. And where might we find the nearest inn? Child of Orsinium, why must you pick a fight with me? You and your brother here. I have no quarrel with either of you. Risty Ricks General Accoutrements. Now that is an interesting name. Tristy Rick. What will these Bretons think of next? I imagine, in my sort of made up background for Eorendil, that he has previously traveled to High Rock a little bit here and there in his previous life as a scholar and budding mage, but uh, he would not have explored the area thoroughly. Uh, he just has a passing familiarity with some parts of it. We'll put away our dagger and chat with this kind beggar here. Who are you? Oh, what do you want from me, High Elf? Betty Knack Masterheart is a busy man. <laughs> oh yes, I can see you are. Perhaps you are bedding down for the night. Um, heard any interesting rumors? I do not want to sound paranoid, but I am convinced that our king has been possessed by the devil. Very strange. Now, where is the nearest inn? Here, give me your map, Betty Knack Masterheart says. I'll show you how close you are. Many thanks. And of course, I would imagine that I toss more than a few coins to him. Arendil has far more gold than he will ever need. Okay, let's see. I guess I won't go around this way. Take care, good Breton. Can I enter through here? Okay, I've really been misinterpreting my map. Apologies to my dear viewers, but uh, I think I am a bit more tired than usual in making this video, so I am not at my best. Here we go. Oh, hello there! <laughs> Good snake charmer. The design of this building is kind of interesting. The Laughing Locker. You are a brave man to come so close to my cobra. What would you ask of Alaberic Wickford? Interesting rumors. A couple of my friends in the know say the peace talks with Camborn this week did not go very well. Have you perhaps ever heard tell from any travelers passing through here 
of the location of the Crypt of Hearts. Last I heard, the Mage's Guild was looking somewhere near Camlorn. Or was it Evermore? I'm not sure, but you should probably start your search around there. Okay, interesting. So in to the Laughing Locker we'll go. Rubbing your hands briskly together, you enter the Laughing Locker. The fireplace is so grand in the room, in short time you feel almost too warm. Alright. Well, this is a good start to our adventures here in High Rock, Land of the Bretons. And here is where we shall end our video. So thank you so much all of you for watching. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see more, and consider supporting me at patreon.com slash the drake. That provides support not only for my video creations, but also for my indie game development. And I do very much appreciate that. As we leave Arendil, here in the presence of this friendly innkeeper, I bid you all adieu. Take excellent care of yourself and everyone around you. I will see you next time.